good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Greg here again with an unboxing, I've had this kit for quite a few months, well, well nearly a year I should say, and never ever got round to doing an unboxing. I, I found this on uh, on eBay, on one of the companies that I use from China, uh, and I thought for the price, it's a good value for money, and I was very surprised to see what you actually got in the in the box to uh, for the price I paid, and it's, uh, I think it's a... It's a company I've never heard of called Garocci. G R O C H I. I think they're from Japan or China, one of the two. But, uh, as you can see, it's a Bradley. And it says it's a deluxe edition and it's detailed static display. All the wheels are movable. Uh, Orochi, it's actually Orochi, not Gochi, Orochi. Bigfoot smell. Small metal tracks, uh, Bushman's metal barrel, figure included, resin parts included, PE clear parts included, and two types of markings. So it's quite a big, well, not a big box, but you know, a reasonable size depth wise. You see, on the sides there, we've got the figure, a bit of resin, and the barrel, and some bit of PE there, and the resin. And on the other side we have just a CAD drawings of the of actual vehicle. Which does look nice. Yeah, so it says on there Garocci, but I'm sure that's meant to be an O because it says on the tracks Orochi. So I'll find out. Either one or the other. Right, so the kit number is I am Zero zero one. So obviously this is their first ever kit. I'll have to check up and see if I can find anything else, more information about it. But without further ado, let's uh, let's see what we've got in the box. Right, as you can see, it's full of uh, little goodies. So we'll just pull this box to the side, and we'll start off with what's in the box. So let's do it. We'll start off with the little screw here, which is a little figure. It's sealed, it is indeed. So where's my knife? It looks like a dis bomb disposal man actually. You look on the side of that box, didn't you? So, let's have a look. I think it's fair dear. Well, I don't, do you know how much it was called the kit was? When was it released? Made, it's made in China. It doesn't give me any it may on the sprues. I'll have a look on the sprues as we get into it. There's nothing on here. Yeah, it is Orochi, as you can see there by the um the sprue the gate the sprue gate number and that on it. Yeah, it is, so it is Orochi. Detail isn't bad at all. It definitely looks like a bomb disposal bomb disposal man. The way the helmet is and everything else. That's not bad detail at all. If you want to use him. Not bad at all. Right, pop that in the box. And we do get metal tracks. And other bits and pieces, the things in here, I think the Bigfoot metal tracks. Right, let's have a gander. Just making their own stuff. Oh, PC bags included. Yeah, so back to the side. Right, so we've got a little bit of resin, a bit of stowage, and a bit of I think, yeah, stowage and that kind of stuff. Which ain't too bad at all. Plenty of detail in there. Not bad at all. And same with the uh, the other little bit. Oh yeah, I'll throw it there. A bit of resin. And then we have the, these look like track pins to me. All in a nice test tube, which is unusual, I've never seen that before. So they're on a nice test tube full of pins. I don't know if they're uh, open-ended, or I mean, got one end to go in. Or just all look the same to me. Which I'm not bothered about. And then we have in here, we have the, uh, the Bushmaster gun. We have the actual barrel itself, nice 
upturned brass barrel and this is very small which is the end of the let me get into my palm of my hand it rolls off I'm going to lose this and the very end of the PE barrel as well which is nicely done all uh, drilled out as well of course so it looks really nice I'll pop that back in there so I don't lose that and the same with this you can go back in there so a novel way of putting things in yeah. and the tracks I'll open them because I can reseal them so it's not a problem let's have a look at what we've got detail is pretty nice Both sides. There's that. Can you see those? They're quite nice. Nothing wrong with those. And they all seem to be pretty well drilled out. I think from what I can see from that one. Yeah. We'll try a pin. We'll get a pin out and have a look. Let's have a look. See how easy they are to go together. Hopefully the carpet monster won't be hungry for these. I don't know if there's any spare ones or not. Let's just see if I go through the holes, alright. Oh, yeah. Straight through. Straight through without any problems. What do I like to link together? Maybe we should use a pair of tweezers. Let's be tweezers that. Do it properly. Or not at all, as the Mizad used to say. Oh yeah, a little dab of glue on the end of those and uh, that'll be fine. Just another little one there and push it through quite yet. Yeah, they're going to be fairly straightforward to push through. Workable tracks which is nice to see. Obviously we've got workable suspension as well. So I'll pop this pin back. Can't see anything but a problem. It's very much similar to what I've just built on the um, on the T34, they're very much the same. But they had a pin on on one side, obviously, because the, the other one um, gets knocked back in by that thing on the on the uh, inside of the hull. But yeah, that's a nice touch as well. Metal tracks, bit of resin, pa uh, sorry, metal barrel, the pins for the tracks. I'll leave that down there, and we'll start off with the upper hull. Are these resealable? No, I don't think they are. Doesn't matter. It's difficult. We can open them from the end, can't we? Right, let's have a gander at the Once we get this out of the box, and the bag of fits here. Let's go, we have some. Poly caps for the wheels, obviously. Let me say much else about those. The lower sub, obviously, is quite bland, but things add to it. That plastic is quite nice, it's substantial enough. It's decent quality plastic. And it's no warping, which is even better. So, that's the lower hole. Let's have a look, see if it says when it was made. 2014 on this one. You see that? So it's a fairly old kit, but you know, I thought I'd just try a punt on it, as I say. And then we have the upper hull, which I have to say is really nice. It's got anti slip on it. The detail is really, really nice. See, we've got the side skirts actually all down there already. Nice detail on those as well. Lovely. Really nice. And on the the anti-slip on the armour really nice really really nice and on the engine deck you've got the anti-slip on everywhere the crew would clamber oh yeah that's a pretty nice that's a pretty nice start it's unusual to see the actual side skirt actually onto the kit itself 
still gives you the scope of taking them off it's not a problem because you can cut into those easily you've got that nice detail on the sides where they've got the holes so you can really cut them off if you really wanted to I suppose no problem at all right so that's the upper hole the lower hole and the poly cups right, clear parts next I'll leave in the bag yeah we have it's a bomb it uh, looks like a bomb disposal one because there's his there is, uh, his, uh, his screen his, or his visor for his helmet oh. nice clear parts I don't know what you can really say about those but they're nice and clear periscopes and other bits and bobs on there glass screens as well whatever they're for I'm sure we'll uh, find out so they're all nice again nice and clear and the first screw Are they resaleable? No, 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 they're not. It's quite close to the actual plastic. I'll put my uh, tweezers away. Right, there's two of these sprues, and this is like running gear underneath. We have the sprockets. detail again there's no flash oh there's touch a little flash on one of those there but that's a wisp of a file and that's gone nowhere else just in that one piece there and we have a lot of bolts and rivets along the top to add I presume on, on the sprue we have all those and there's the looks like the wheels are extra uh, tires are uh, separate which is always nice you know and you're going to see much of them but the detail is pretty nice on those here we have two sprues of these, quite nice. And we have the sprocket. Is it a three piece sprocket now? No, two piece sprocket and three piece idler. I don't really know unless it's, yeah, it's a three piece sprocket. That's the rear, that's the middle bit, and that's the outside. That's unusual, never seen it done that way before. That's really unusual. We've got the shackles and that at the bottom, not nicely done apart from that bit, a little bit of flash on that one there where my finger is. That's not a problem. So there's two of those. And this looks like upper hole stuff again, which is the uh, armour, iron armour, and a cupola of some description, and some more Adam armour as well. Nicely done. We've got that uh, texture on the top of the all the part, the part that has the uh, anti-slip. Really nicely done. And then we have the side armour, the uh, composite armour block armour, you want to call it. It's all nicely done as well. And this is supposed to be the rear of the vehicle. And then we have a few of the commanders or drivers hatch, I presume. Not 100% sure. So it's got a nice texture on it as well and same as the forward I think that's presumed this is the uh, front hull armour and that must be the rear where the door goes I would presume yeah, two, is that two options or is that the back and the front uh, to sell it's got that nice texture we'll find out we shall find out and there's the rear door as well which is and it's scale to thickness, yeah, because that's quite uh, goes in the inside, which is nice. We have a bit of detail on the inside as well, which is nice to see. Yeah, all nice. Very nice. Very nice. And I just drew out a lot of little bits and bobs in this one. With a hatch, I can see a hatch. You know nothing about Bradley's or anything. Let's have a slurp of me tea. Getting all nicely moulded. Tend to be their own stuff. Orochi 2014 with the kit number of 001. So it's all their own stuff. I think where the pin marks are going to be, they're going to be hidden anyhow. 
from what I can see. But there again, all the details are really nice. Nothing wrong with that at all. That's for the battle for the gun, the, the um, fits in there, the gun muzzle. That muzzle the, uh, when it goes into the turret. Make it go up and downy. But yeah, again, there's lots of little details, and they say they are nicely, nicely done, nicely moulded. Really nice and same. We got that anti-slip texture on everything it seems to be needing here. It's got on there. So this is them again. I'm gonna have to look into this into this company see if they've released anything else out there. It's been uh, overlooked as it there. Uh, it was six years old, seven years old. It's quite a quite a nice kit. Plenty of nice nice detail. Brew carries that on. All the little fine parts. Is that a part of the sprue? Or is it just bent? Hard to tell. I think it's just bent out of place, but that shouldn't be a problem to fix. It's to be careful with the stress marks on it. A few pioneer tools. All nicely done again. A little bit of flash on the uh, on the head axe on it, on the on the head of the axe. There again, nothing that wouldn't get uh, a whisper of a file wouldn't mark off. There again, we've still got a nice detail again on all these small parts, all the anti-slip stuff. A bit of a tow cable there. Some of the pioneer tools. More bits and bobs. A lot of small details on this one again. I couldn't tell you what they are. Presumably these are the muck guards, rear and front. We'll find details again on the bottom of the sprue. So, another nice sprue. And this is the end of the plastic sprue, I think. Yeah, this is the end of the plastic. So it's not overly endowed with plastic, but um, I think the feel is just enough there to make a really nice kit. It looks nicely detailed for a static kit. No interior, of course, like the uh, Meng one has. Well, the Meng, you can buy a you could buy a, uh, the uh, interior, can't you? But would it work with this kit? There again, all this is nicely done. Nice turret, nice detail on the turret. Really nicely detailed. A few things moulded on, which is, you know, which isn't a problem. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we have the lower turret. Turret ring, uh, looks like part of the basket. Turret, yeah, turret basket at the back. These must be all turret pieces by looking at them. We have AVMG, which isn't too bad at all, really. Seen a lot worse. And again, all nicely done. There's just a bit of flash on a couple of things, but nothing that's going to be drastic. Right, so that's the end of the plastic. Let's have a look at the instructions. I actually took the instructions out and had a look at them. Let's see where we were. We've got some other bits in here before we get to the instructions. Let's have a gander. Let's have a look what we've got here. Come on, you know you want to come out. I have a small, small decal sheet with writing on caution, do not, I can't read the small bits, some of it's a door, in case of fire, pull handle, lots of small bits and pieces on there but it's their own stuff and it looks quite nice, I know it's only a plastic bag but it still looks quite nice. And then we have a small fret of PE. I have two bits of like a wheel mask, that. Is it all got a wheel mask to you? Possibly could be. Not really sure. We have a bit more. I don't know what that is. Like a rubber, pe rubber piece on there. I don't know what that is on top of the um, PE, but there's a few engine grills and things. And I haven't got a clue what that is. Very soft rubber. So it must be a part for the actual kit, obviously, because it's in that little bag, so I'll have to be careful with that, but yeah, nice little bit of PE. There's a couple of sheets here we have to read. 
it says read before assembly please remove the rivets from side from the side of the of sprue A right okay yeah that's all about the sprue so remove them all and then please remove the spirits from side A again on B3 ah it's telling you where to add them I see sorry my apologies it's telling you where to add the uh, for bolts giving you directions where to go which is quite nice this is telling you definitely where they go so it'll be a fiddly job but not too bad at all um, and then we have the instructions let me just get rid of this Nice glossy black book, it's very similar to, well, the artwork's the same as the box. That's a gander in the instructions. Got the, gives you a little bit of info about it. Got a lot, gives you a little bit of info. Let's see. Man, the Bradley Cavalry Fighting Vehicle CV, CFV. This is an American tracked armoured reconnaissance vehicle, which we all know. A little bit of history, a 25mm Bushmaster cannon turret with a coaxial 7.62 machine gun. Also carries one, or two, one TOW missile as well as one more ammunition for his 25mm and 7.62 machine guns. We have a regulatory sprue map which is always nice to see. And it's also nice to see it at the front of the book because some of them give you it at the back. And then straight away we're into the um, lower hull as normal with the uh, suspension arms. And then we're putting it together the uh, it was a three part um, sprocket and a two part uh, return roll, sorry, idle wheel. Telling you to put the poly caps and not to glue. And then we're carrying on with the transmission, adding the Sprockets too, we'll add them too, but obviously but the poly caps will come off so it's not a problem so we can add them there just for, you know, as, as it's going along because we can take it all off again apart from the return rollers. Um, I'm giving you, to tell you to spray these a certain colour, there's uh, whatever colour, probably are red usually I think aren't they, or is that British uh, AFVs. Yeah, all straightforward, wheels go, you know, telling you the wheels go, yeah, separate. Telling you to spray them more separately, polycarp, yeah, very nice. Yeah, make 12 of those, or five, and then we're on to the making of the tracks. I usually sometimes you know, get bored, like if I'm waiting for something to finish or to dry or something, I'll start maybe start doing these tracks, you know, things like that, like I did with the, um, with the T34. I did that while I was waiting for the group build to start, but there again, all nicely done. I can tell you how many tracks per side though. No, I didn't tell you how many tracks per side. I'll have to work that one out. It's telling you had decals on there. No, surely you're not going to have decals yet. Grab handles on there and it's telling you to put the lower hole and the upper hole together. It's telling you to put these, or certainly won't be putting them on at that time, the um, decals. Obviously it's done. And then we've got the rear door, which I said was two parts, but it looks quite uh, like to scale, if you know what I mean, thickness. And again, it's telling you to spray certain parts, different colours, the shackles again, we've got the tow rope and the back door. And then we've got the rear plate added to the back of the rear plate that's going on to actual the vehicle itself. And then we got the um, looks like some storage boxes and the mug guards and the lighting again. And it gives you a small in-depth picture again where the deck was going to go, but I say it we certainly won't be putting them on at that time. Then we start with a PE as well. And obviously we're adding the uh, side armour. And nicely cleared out, nicely laid out, cleared out instructions. Um, not too busy, you know what I mean, really nice and nicely detailed where we've done it as well, so that's, that's nice. And we've got some more, is it the Pioneer tools and things like that. Other bits and pieces, a couple of, looks like, um, lifting eyes. 
more PE again. I think this is the reverse side of the other side we did with the mud guards and the armour again. And then we're starting off on the front. It's telling you to put the decals on, but obviously we're not going to do it that time. Um, these must be the fastenings for the extra armour. I did the front on the armour on the front. Here it is, and then we add the armour to the front. And looks like this is the part for the, for the turret, turret ring. Not sure what that part is. And then again, adding small blocks to the bottom of the vehicle. Don't know what they are either. So, so far, you know, it looks fairly straightforward. Doesn't look anything untoward apart from putting the decals on. But, uh, and then we're carrying on with the upper hull now with the looks like actually, driver's hatch turret. I'm trying to driver's hatch. I'm not sure if it is. Got all these small clear parts to go in. Might just leave them till last if I can make this movable, which I hopefully can, which I can open and close so we can add them. And then we've got the front headlight, front lights again, which is telling you to paint before adding, which I usually do anyhow. I'm not sure what that part is, part of the um, vision blocks and things like that. Vision. And again, adding these sub all these sub assemblies to the main turret, so the main hull. Yeah. Carrying on with the pioneer tools, telling you to spare them a certain colour again. Yeah. And then we're on to the turret with the uh, start with the the gun breech. The breech well it you know where it goes into. Fairly straightforward, poly cap in there so there's no glue needed. And we've got the uh, machine gun going through that side of it as well. So it'll move independently I suppose. And we're putting more of the vision blocks in to up into the um, turret, and then we're closing all the turret and that in together. So we'll have to think about uh, masking these off at the time when we've painted them and putting them in there. Or if we don't need to mask them, um, so we don't need to paint them, just mask them. It's clear glass, but might put a little bit of blue in there just to uh, give that little extra bit of touch to it. And then we're starting with the turret ring at the bottom, adding the, the turret base there. I don't know what that part is yet. Uh, smokes, smoke, smoke dispensers, still in the lower part of the whole, lower part of the turret. So we're adding the turret ring and some other little bits and pieces to the bottom of the turret. And again, we're all more, more turret stuff. Well, this is all turret adding the extra armor. Uh, all the bits and bobs, bit of, all these are sub, subplots and then subplots, sub assemblies, and then we're adding adding them to the uh, main turret. And again, more turret stuff, I guess, quite a lot of turret stuff to add to it. All these little bits and pieces. This is presumably like the, um, oh, God, top of my head. You know, we'll look out, we've got all the optics and things in there. I can't remember what it's called, top of my head. I'm telling you to put the decals on the inside of one of the glasses on that. So yeah, I'll have to be careful with that and read that. Maybe I have to do certain decals that it's going to be you know, put in somewhere. Yeah, And we're finishing off with the rest of the, tur the uh, bits and bobs on there. Finishing off with the machine gun. Metal gun colour. I presume it's telling me. Just finishing all the little bits and pieces in there. And then we've got the last bit is... I don't know if this is the driver's um, hatch or not, I'm not sure until I look at it properly. And then, yeah it is, that's the driver's hatch, the big one that I was on about, it is. Uh, and it's telling you what colours to paint the... The colour of them in figures, clothes, is XF58 olive green, so I'm presuming it's all Tamiya stuff. I'm seeing 2nd Squadron, 3rd Armoured Cavalry Regiment, Infantry Division. And give you a, uh, a colour call out of any description. So I'm going to have to look into that, aren't we? Coloured and things, that's a bit unusual. Just, uh, just double check that, there's no colour call out at all. A bit unusual. It won't be hard to find. Colour call out for what you want. To say it's a bit strange, but apart from that, I think it was certainly worth 
I think it was just over 30 quid I paid for it when I got it. I don't know what the price is now, but obviously with the 20% um, VAT, whatever it is, or taxes put on it. But I thought I'd give it a go and quite impressed really. So apart from the um, no colour call out, which isn't too big of a problem, but you thought they would have done that. But um, there you go. So overall, it's quite an impressive little kit. Uh, see, I don't build many modern vehicles, um, but that could be a start of building some modern vehicle. Could be something like that to uh, break me in gently, as you say. So as I say, thank you very much for stopping by and viewing, and I hope you're keeping all well and safe. And um, thank you again for all the nice comments I'm getting, and all the new subscribers. Uh, thank you once again. So this is Greg signing off, and we'll see you very soon.